Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. We had a couple technical difficulties, no surprise there. For those of you who do not know me yet, my name is Carolyn Harvey and I'm the founder of Dream Baby Sleep. I am thrilled, beyond thrilled, to have a very special guest here with me, the one and only Jennifer Mandillo. Hi, guys. Mom of three, certified infant and toddler sleep expert on the Dream Team, sitting alongside us from Maryland, not with us in the flesh, is the one and only Zan Kaufman. And before we even kick it off, we are so super excited. Hey Zan, we're so super excited um, to share with you guys. For those of you who did not see the announcement, Zan Kaufman is about to be party of four. Yay! Yay! So more we're babies. gonna more babies. So we're gonna have a toast to Zan. We're super excited okay. for her. Yeah, get your beverage um, for her and her husband Corey and their beautiful daughter Serafina. Let's have a cheers to Cheers! Since you cheers can't drink, Zan. since you can't drink, I'm gonna have an extra one for you when we get off this, just so I make sure you feel good about it. But honestly, we, we're over the moon about it. We're expecting a June Kaufman baby. There's gonna be a contest. Um, with some great prizes tied to the birth of the baby, which we love. So stay tuned. If you have not already done so, please sign up on our website for our blog at www.dreambabysleep.com backslash blog. Zan's going to go ahead and post that in the comments because we are going mm -hmm. to have some wicked awesome I want one. Oh yeah, I know you do, Zan. She wants a champagne. It's not. Fun. Listen, I was just right there. Yeah. Okay. You guys were yeah. drinking up a storm, and I had that baby in my belly. Jennifer had her baby five months ago. So Savvy's five months old, which is spectacular. Yes. She's spectacular. A good baby. She's doing really well. She got a good one. Yes. You got a good one this time. I did. The boys were a little rough. Yep. And yep. now we're back to a little bit of roughness. And with the toddlerness. did she use a pacifier? Yes, she did use a pacifier. She was my only baby that used the pacifier. Love that. Every the boys used me as a human pacifier. Human pacifier. Not so. Much she fun. uses the actual pacifier. pacifier. Yes. Okay. Although you're nursing. I am nursing. Yes. You could feed a village. A small village, yes. <laughs> small it's one. Fantastic. <laughs> it's amazing. However, you're feeding doesn't matter. Bottle breast. It's all magical. We love it all. Jen here could feed a village, which is amazing. My sister was the same way, me not so much. So with that said, tonight we are going to be talking about how to ditch the pacifier. Mm -hmm. um, Facebook has done some funny things recently and they are not letting me see your comments, so I'm gonna do my best. I can see them. Jennifer is working on some of that too. Henry the cat is here and he's in the corner eating wires, so. It's okay, Henry. I mean, God willing, he's okay. Henry, come on over here, baby. Okay, so we are on Instagram Stories Live or Instagram Live. Which yes, we it? are Instagram Live. Okay, live perfect. Stories, so wherever your pleasure, we are there and we appreciate you. Again, my name is Carolyn Harvey. I'm the founder of Dream Baby Sleep. Tonight we are talking about how to ditch the pacifier. If you are joining us live and you have a question, go ahead and post it right there in the comments because we are going to answer questions at the end of this in the order in which they have been received. Received. I feel like there's like yeah. some yeah that's right that's, okay that's, that's fair that's fair okay so I'm distracted today my hair is doing this Your funny calic my long, roots yeah. are smidge off I, I was, I'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's a smidge off however tune in next week on Tuesday because I'm getting my hair did mm -hmm. on Thursday maybe Friday I have to check my calendar but um, circle back in for a new look with the roots here. Uh, but I, I'm okay with the way that it is. So we're talking tonight about ditching the pacifier. We are live from Dream Baby Sleep headquarters. If you could do us a huge favor, we have a lot of followers on Facebook and on Instagram. We have a lot of replay um, followers that check us out on the replay, which we really, really love and appreciate. If you could go ahead and click share, go ahead and share the video. Um, and most importantly, go ahead and comment for us, where are you from, how many children you have, and what age they are. Oh, that's we a good one. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good one. We're doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes with age of the babies and toddlers of our followers. So we are working on our editorial calendar. Lots of new and exciting things coming out in 2018. Do not miss it. 
Before I jump into the pacifier, I want everybody to know that we are coming to a city near you. If you want to see us in your city, please direct message me. I love getting messages from you. Direct message me, let me know what city and state you're in. If you're affiliated with a specific organization, a mom's group, a dad's group, whatever the case may be, or you work for a major corporation and you can introduce us to your HR department because we are bringing corporate wellness into America as it relates to sleep for tired parents. We're taking You're our welcome. show on the road. You're welcome. We're excited. We're excited. We're nice. taking our show on the road. We cannot be more excited about this. So without, for, who is that, Allie? Oh, I'm Allison. My son is Nicholas, who is 19 months, and we are in Boonton, New Ooh, Jersey. I love that. That's local beautiful. Local Jersey. Local. We love Jersey. Um, we are coming to you live from our headquarters in northern New Jersey. We have Jamie joining us. I'm Jamie. I have a two-year-old boy-girl twins. Uh, my nephews. They're, tw they're going to be two in a week. I thought twins, this one boys. was having twins. <gasps> Yes. I thought this one was having twins, but she didn't. We would love, love, love for Jen to have twins, even though she says she's not having another baby. Don't tell her husband. Let's check. I don't think he's looking, but I just feel like me. Do one you, more? Like, I feel like I, I should have an even number? I don't know. I mean, just add to the crazy. I mean, I don't know. Why not? Just one more. I mean, just one. He's not one. on social media, so I can say that. I really you can want say one that. More. You do want one more, even though the pregnancy was... It was rough. It's rough when you have yeah. toddlers and you're pregnant and you're trying to multitask and you're exhausted and you, you know. Three under the age of four. It's a little bit of a circus. A little bit of a circus. I call her and I feel so much better about myself. Okay, because I only have one. Um, so really yeah, quick, I want to tell you a super funny story. So <laughs> I am on the phone with Jen and I'm going to start. Oh, God, Henry's going to knock that over. Henry, uh, don't Henry. do that. He's like, why is there a glove in the living room? I know. You guys, this is hysterical. I'm going to take a picture of this and post it. But Henry, please don't do that, honey. You're going to knock Instagram over. Really funny story before we start. Okay. I'm on the phone with Jen the other day. I'm driving. I'm headed to a, um, a corporate wellness presentation, which was amazing. And all of a sudden, I hear in the background, she's constantly talking to kids. She has three under the age of four. Um, big, big shout out to Lukey, who's going to turn three tomorrow. He's a big boy. So anyway, we're on the phone, and she, all of a sudden I hear this. Oh, my God. Do not touch that. I don't know if it's poop or chocolate, and I don't want to find out. <laughs> yep, that's what goes on True when story. Other boys. True story. Then, just yesterday, I'm on the phone with her again, and she says, all of a sudden, mid-sentence, we're talking about something really strategic and super smart. I'm sure it was. I'm sure. And she says to me, oh my God, I got to call you back. One of them just punched me in the face. <laughs> so not like in a mean way. No, they're, they're not just... violent children. They're just rambunctious. Well, so you got moms out there who have toddler boys. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have a girl. These kids, I mean, they have energy. They don't stop. It's, they don't stop. It's like somebody so, gave them coffee at all times. Please comment with your okay. funniest quote if you have one because I love, love, love hearing those. And I'm going to start a quote section on the website for <laughs> mom and dad quotes because let's not forget our dads. I was on the phone with a friend of mine, a dad, this morning. Hey, Stacy, thanks for tuning in. We love our Long Island, um, our Long Island followers, so thanks for joining us. Um, I love our dads who are following us as well. We have so many dads that mm -hmm. are very closely involved in the sleep training process, joining our complimentary 15-minute consultations. The Dream Team offers complimentary 15-minute consultations. <laughs> I can't tell, just today we had a mom reach out. She's calling in from a secure phone line on the trading floor mm -hmm. because she's a baller. Badass. Okay, yeah. such a badass. I was like, yes, mama. She was like, I can't use my cell phone to conference in my husband because we're on a secure floor and I want to be able to conference him in. Yes, please. Well done, Mama. We know who you are. We're not going to say who it was, but we love it. Whether you're staying at home, whether you're out working outside of the home as well, we fully support all the choices that you're making, and our team is here to help. Regardless of your parenting style, 
if you're, it's the cat and it's so distracting. You gotta just ignore it. It's funny. No, but it's super important when dads join because yes. you want to be doing love this it. as a team. If you know? dad can't join, that's okay too. Fine, but when they want to be involved, because I'm a single mom. It. And there's no dad in that bedroom right now no. hiding from the camera, right? So Which some of us are jealous though. <laughs> some of us are. Some of us are. Some of us want to come hang out at my house at night, but that's okay. That's we all want what we don't have. Mm -hmm. So her husband is amazing and I adore him and he's super funny. So with that said, um, whether you're co-sleeping, whether you have your baby in a bassinet in your room, whether your baby is in their crib yeah. day one, we love it and we support it. Yeah. Our practice is designed to understand, number one, the temperament of your baby, number two, your parenting style, and number three, your family dynamic. Are you working inside and out of the home? Are there multiple caregivers? Are there nannies, grandmas, daycares, the whole kit and caboodle? Are you co-sleeping as a family choice? It's hot in here, right? Man, I'm sweating. It's five degrees out, you guys. What and is going house on? Is like a sauna. Hi, like, Heather. Thanks for joining. It's you are shiny, but that's okay. You look beautiful. Oh, Christina, you've got toddler boys. You know what I'm. You talking know about. it. You know it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. with that said, um, comment. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Please share this because um, we love when you do that. We really appreciate it. We're trying to get the word out. We have brand new corporate wellness direct message and let us know if you want to learn more. With that said. Cheers to Zan. Cheers to Zan. Cheers to Zan. Baby Kaufman number two. Baby Kaufman number two. I'm so excited about that. Let's talk about this pacifier mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? I cannot tell you how many people, how many people are direct messaging us, emailing us, mm -hmm. because they're playing the pacifier game. Who knows what I mean by that? Go ahead and give me a little like or a heart and let us know you know what I'm talking about by the passy game. The passy game means you're in your living room, you're in your bedroom, mm -hmm. you're hanging out, you're doing your thing, and all of a sudden that baby's pacifier jumps out. Yeah. Then what happens? You scurry on in there like a ninja warrior. Like you could be on that show, Ninja Warrior. You could do that obstacle course. Mm -hmm. If they had a crying baby and it was yours at the end of that obstacle course, mm -hmm. and all you had to do was get that pacifier back in, you would ninja warrior in there and mm -hmm. you would get that thing back in there in about 18 seconds flat and set a world record probably. Okay? That's what we're talking about when we're referencing the passy game. When it becomes a game, when it's constant, you have a problem on your hands. Hi, Casey. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you tuning in. Um, so that's when you have a problem. Yes. But we would be remiss if we did not talk about the benefits of the pacifier. Don't think, benefits. don't think we're pacifier haters. No, we're not. We are not We just don't want it to turn into a game. That's we all. Don't, we don't want it to turn into a sleepless nightmare. Hustle. They are hustling us. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That reminds me of a funny story. I'm going to save it. Okay. So, if you notice you're running in and out, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, don't, don't message me. Oh, I run in there three times. Is that a problem? If you're saying three, it's really nine. You know it's not a problem. Yeah. Hi, Casey. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hi, Debbie. For those of you who do not know, Debbie Sachs Dolan tuning in live right now. That's my mommy. Hey, mommy. Don't forget to share it. Support Support the team. We love it. Yay, Gandy. Yay, Gandy. Um, so if you're running in there multiple, multiple times, hey, Lisa, thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. You have a pacifier problem. However, we want to talk about the benefits of yes. the pacifier. We love the pacifier. The pacifier is widely supported, especially by the Academy of Pedi American Academy, Academy of Pediatrics. Pediatrics. Yes, because it is a key component for SIDS prevention, mm -hmm. the Academy of Pediatrics, American Academy of Pediatrics, recommends it up until age 12 months, 12 months one. age one. Yep. So we're not anti-pacifier, mm -hmm. we're just wanting to give you tips and tricks so if you're over pacifying and it's becoming just a giant nightmare, that's when you know you need uh, that you have a problem, okay? Oh, hi, baby girl. Thanks, Debbie. Um, hi, Yulia. Nice. Thank you for tuning in. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Don't forget to comment what city and state you're joining us from, age of your children. Oh, okay? Melissa says come to Florida. Yes, Melissa. Melissa. We're, we're in there. Florida. Where are you in Florida, Melissa? I don't know, but I'm going. 
Uh, oh, no, I'm in. 14. No, but I'm in. I used to live in Naples. Oh, I love nine months. I used to live in Naples, Florida. Um, I have family in Boca Grande. I have family in Sarasota. So, yeah. mm -hmm. I can't wait to find out where you're from. Um, I can't wait to come and visit you. We will come to your town. Um, so anybody that's interested in us coming to uh, your city and hosting a workshop, yes. 45 minutes message, workshop, message, sleep message. workshop, 15 oh, minutes Q&A. she's Q &A. in Stewart, Florida. Oh, I know where Stewart is. Ooh, I love that. I will be in and around that area on Feb 4th. 14, happy Valentine's Day to us. Okay, so we've identified that we have a problem with the pacifier. We're replacing it dozens of times a mm -hmm. night. We're ninja warring or into the room to replace it because we know if that thing falls out, we're in the danger zone. So what do we do? We're going to talk about infants first and then we're going to talk about toddlers. Okay. So for our infants, we can take a more direct approach. Definitely. You, you didn't have to do this with Savvy. I did and I didn't. Yeah. She was the only baby who took a pacifier. And I'm the only one drinking. Well, because I'm talking. Oh, okay, sorry. She was the only one who took a pacifier. Hi, TJ. Thanks for telling me. And when I realized Ooh. that it was becoming a problem, meaning I would nurse her, I would pop the pacifier in, yeah. I would lay her down, and the second the pacifier fell yeah. out, the screaming would ensue. And she wouldn't stay asleep. I'd be running back in there. Let me tell with you, this Two toddlers scream. in tow with... I got it. I want to do it. I got oh, it. Oh, my Shh. turn. My turn. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, everybody out of the room. Yep. And I was I yelled, like, and now she's awake. Yeah. You're about to have a passy problem. Yes. Okay. So I was you. I had the passy problem. Yep. But yep. I slowly took the pacifier away mm -hmm. and introduced her hand, which she's a big, like, finger, like, hand sucker. Hand sucker. I love it. Well, love my second hand -sucker. baby, he's a thumb sucker still. Yep. Great. Okay, awesome. so I know I probably may need to. That's fine. So, Zan, mm -hmm. soon to be expecting baby number, number two, two, Kaufman, Dream Team mm -hmm. member. Um, she is the author of the Passy blog that we shared, uh, give or take, a couple ago. of days ago. Sunday. And Zan is a Passy expert when it comes to toddlers because she recently transitioned her daughter, Serafina, off of it. So we're going to go ahead and post the blog in the comments. It has a very specific instructions on what to do. So first, we're going to talk about the infants. You can take a much more direct approach. You don't have to do a staggered approach. You could take it away immediately. Mm -hmm. Which if, I found was the best approach with my yeah. daughter. It really, she responded It's going to be a rough well. go. It was a rough couple of days. I'm not going yeah. to lie. Two to three days would yeah. be like win, mm -hmm. win mm -hmm. um, of madness, crying up all night, fussing. What do you do? What do you do when you take the pacifier away and the madness ensues, meaning they're crying nonstop? I gave her a placement, so I took the pacifier away. Transition object. And I gave her a lovey. Some love kids that. don't show any interest in it, yep. but some it works for. Yeah. Her it worked for. It gave her something to kind of fiddle with her hand. Love it. So we can introduce that transition object, that lovey, when they're 16 weeks from their estimated due date or older. So I love, love, love the angel deer loveys. I see, I really like the Aiden and Anise ones. You do. Because it doesn't have that head. Just so you know, they don't pay us to say this. No. If anybody works for Aiden and Anise or angel deer, you should message us. But Just I love saying. it because it doesn't have that head on it. It's that muslin material. Yeah. It's got the trim. Very of lightweight. The, yes. She flips it on her face. Yeah, I know. That's and I know she you. can breathe. It's small. I, I really like it. Do you remember with Anthony when you had your first baby and you used to text me nonstop and be like, the lovey's on his cheek. Is he, <laughs> is he okay? Well, everybody panics when it's baby number one. I had, the, I had that um, device. I forget what it's called. That, oh, the breathable thing. That does anybody know foot? what it's called? The the monitor. It's got a surface that goes. Yes, um, angel something. Yes, angel care. Is that what it's called? Mm, I don't know. It goes like off if your baby stops breathing. Which is just. Oh, Maron. We're Italian now. Uh, I, <laughs> I was practicing that. What are you? Christine's Italian. She is. Okay. <laughs> so. It was, oh, it was gut-wrenching. This monitor goes off and this alarm goes Didn't off. Didn't she like just move away from That's it? That's what so happens. It, yeah. If they get off center, the yeah. thing goes bananas. So yeah. I'm an advocate of things like that. So 
Oh, Melissa, the oh. outlet. That's the new one. They didn't have that when I had my daughter, who's now six months, six yes, years old. That's the one that goes on the foot. Goes on the foot. Do, if you use it, Melissa, if you've used it, anybody that's used it, if you could please go ahead and direct message us. We want to post a review about that. Yes, so that would be great. let us know your experience, age of the baby you started using it, um, how you liked it, pros and cons. Thank you so much. Okay. So, with that said, what were we talking about? Pacifier. So, I replaced yeah. the oh. pacifier and I gave her a lovey. Oh, yeah, perfect. And we were talking about which lovey we like. Yeah, perfect. So, you have that transition item and then you give her the lovey. It's not like that's the magic fix. Absolutely and not. suddenly they're yeah. just, woo, off to night night land. I know you took my woo! pacifier, my lovey. I'm pacifier. just going to sleep. No. Not happening. No. So, you have to lean on your sleep training method. That's the beauty of sleep training. Okay, so we would not be taking a pacifier away from a baby who is under the age of four months old. No. If you have a baby who's, hey Emily, thanks for tuning in, who is over four months old, we're by no means saying get rid of that passy. Nope. Keep, nope. Give the passy, replace Keep it. the passy. Yep. Stay with what you're doing. We're going to get to that when you replace it. If you decide you want to get rid of it, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Um you take it away. For our infants, you could take it away immediately. Yes. You have to apply your sleep training method. The same sleep training method you applied to nights, uh, naps, mm -hmm. and early rising, you would apply to when the baby wakes up fussing and crying because he or she is missing that pacifier, okay? Um, the pacifier is soothing. We support the pacifier. 100%. You 100%. just don't want it to turn into a game. Where a disaster. If they lose the pacifier, you know, you know I'm talking they to have you. no ability to settle themselves without it. That's, That's what right. we're talking about. That's right. So if we have an infant and we say, you know what, I don't want to get rid of that pacifier yet, mm -hmm. but I've got a situation on my hands and it's turned into this crazy back and, back forth, and forth thing. They have no, you re quickly realize that they don't know how to you settle know. themselves. You know, you know who you about. are. If you have a passy game situation, yes. you don't need you don't need to clarify. You know who you we are. We don't need to point that out to you. We do not need to point that out. And we don't judge you for it. Not at We've all. all been there. We've been there. We've done it all. All of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to offer that pacifier at bedtime. Mm -hmm. Okay? You don't want to get rid of it. You just want to minimize the drama associated with it. You're going to offer the pacifier at bedtime. Baby's going to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. You could slowly start to remove the pacifier, pacifier. pluck it out mm -hmm. when the baby is drowsy but awake. Right? Exactly. Barely hanging on. Yep. Go ahead and try and sneak it out. If the baby wakes right back up, plop it back in. Do it again. Okay? Rinse and repeat, slowly taking it out sooner and sooner. This kind of emulates the chair method where we slowly mm -hmm. are sitting next to the baby, providing love and comfort. Yes. We're right there. And then we're slowly removing it's ourselves. It's a super, super gradual approach gradual. with removing the pacifier. Gradual. So nothing wrong with that. Or don't be afraid of it. If you are the person who wants to take it away because it's not working for you anymore, mm -hmm. then by all means, take it away. You could take it away immediately, not do anything gradual. No, nope, just take it away. And you can apply your sleep training method mm -hmm. to all night waking and nap waking. waking. Okay? At the start of night, yes. You have your transition object in there, mm -hmm. which is not an object. It's a lovey. A lovey, yes. Right, and that's nothing what in there. Just tra tra transitioning with. Right, nothing in there but a crib sheet, please. Okay? No Super bumpers, important. no nothing. No nothing. SIDS prevention, uno, number one. Safety first, okay? You could pick up your baby anytime they're crying. People are like, you know what? We get a lot of, we, we get some hate mail. Yes. We don't appreciate said hate mail, but that's okay. We welcome it because we're all about education mm -hmm. and we're all about the science behind sleep. And if sleep training is not for you, that's, That's fine. totally okay. I'm the mom who broke every supposed rule in the book. I co-slept with my daughter in my bed, meaning I bed shared. There's a difference between co-sleeping and bed sharing, mm -hmm. okay? I bed shared. Uh, Academy of Pediatrics does not recommend that. Mm -hmm. Sharing your bed with a baby, okay, because it's dangerous. And there are special precautions that you must diligently take for their safety. Message us. We're happy to share those with you. We support co-sleeping. 100%. We support bed sharing if that's the mm -hmm. family choice that you're going to make. It's safely. Safety first. Mm -hmm. Safety first. Okay? So, with that said, reach out to us. We have complimentary 15-minute consultations. And the purpose of that call is for us to learn more about your situation, share a couple quick tips, and share with you how our program can work. And how we can help you guys. How we can help. We want to help. We want to help everybody. So next, let's talk about our toddlers. Oh, Allie, okay. can you guys... 
can you give them the pacifier at night but not during the day? Of course you can. You're the mom. You're in charge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Know that it may be a little bit confusing to them mm -hmm. as to why they get it at one part of their sleep but not the other. But, but I, would, I would challenge that and say, you're right. It mm -hmm. may be confusing at first, but if you set the tone for it, just like we teach them that we're not feeding at night anymore, okay. we're only eating during the day. Okay. That is one way to do it. I didn't really think that through, but you're right. Very val That's a great, great question. And Jointly every baby right. is different. You every won't know until you try. Yeah. So if you don't want to go cold turkey, Allie, I feel like that's what you're saying. You don't want to go cold turkey. Totally fine. And we're not here to say take get rid of the pacifiers. No, no. Don't send us emails about SIDS prevention and how important that is. We support that. Okay? 100%. We support the pacifier. If you've determined that it's becoming problematic and you want to get rid of it, well, then by all means. Then do that. Right. We're with you. We're with you. The main thing is have a plan. Have a plan. Have a plan and stick to that plan. Yes. So I would, Allie, if you want to get rid of it during the day. Hi, oh, sissy. Please, Thanks for tuning in. That's my sister. Um, you want to keep it at night and get rid of it during the day. I love that. A lot of people want to nap train before they night train. Mm, we're not huge fans of that. i got to be honest with you. No. No. You should do it all as a whole. Yep. Rip the old Band-Aid off. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like putting a Band-Aid on a gunshot wound. <laughs> Bleeds a lot. Yes. Just go ahead and stitch it up quick and be done with it. However, the pacifier, I have a different school of thought. I, I, would pref I like that idea. What? I like the idea of taking away for naps first and offering it at night. But Allie, when you're offering it at night, don't run in there in and out a hundred times. Come up with a plan, okay? Give it at bedtime. When it pops out, don't return it until after midnight once. So I like to say three times during the night. But okay. then you have to be prepared for naps to be a hot mess. Are well, you prepared yeah. for that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you guys, this is classic. <laughs> I just, we're live, and my sister is text messaging me. I thought I'd put my phone on Do Not Disturb. You can always count on your sister to tell you, why are your roots black? You know what, Sissy? If you weren't late to this Facebook Live, you're going to want to go ahead and watch her from the beginning, because I already addressed my, my roots. Okay, I address my roots in the beginning. I'm not going to bore everybody with that again. But yes, sissy, I needed my highlights done. You could have told me that one from the Poconos over the weekend. Okay, we have two questions. Okay, we're going to answer our questions. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Did we talk about our toddlers yet? How we doing no, we them? didn't, but actually somebody is going to ask okay, us. Okay, we're going to stay with babies first really quick. Okay, 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 okay fine. So Jennifer Then we'll go to toddlers, so stay with us. That she has the opposite, of pro opposite problem. Mm -hmm. Her six-week-old gets it during the day but I've been having trouble for him to keep it in bed at night, which seems to work. Is that also confusing? Did I'm I just confused. Confuse you? <laughs> the baby's not taking it at night? Her six week old gets it during the day. Great. Okay, but she's been having, I've been trying to put it with him in bed at night, I guess. Right. With, but it doesn't seem to be working. Meaning it doesn't want it. Don't force it. Don't force it. Don't look, to gift, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. When your baby gives you a cue that they do not want it, acknowledge it. Jeff Fab, thank you for tuning in. Um, I love, love, love seeing all of my dads tuning in. Mm -hmm. So thank you to TJ. Thank you to Jeff. Longtime friends. For those of you who do not know, I'm from Eastern Long Island. And we have so many supporters and followers out there and across the U.S. But anyway, we're just thrilled that you guys are all here. So thanks for tuning in. Okay. So the question is, the baby doesn't want it at night. The baby takes no, the pacifier during the day. She, no, she's giving it to him during the day. She wants to take it away at night. Oh, perfect. So she wants to do the opposite of what That's we were fine. saying. Offering it at night and taking it away during the day. It's the of same course. thing. Of course it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. It's a transition either way. You're doing one and not the other or both. But see, she's realizing that it seems not to be working. It's very, it's become, she thinks it's becoming confusing, which it is. Because it they is. don't associate sleep, day sleep versus right. night sleep. Sleep is sleep to them. Right. So you have to really drill into the temperament of your baby. Your baby is telling you that it's confusing them. So now it's time for you to decide if you're ready to take it away completely. Yes. Yep. So number one, we always follow number one, number one, number one, temperament of that baby. Okay. Yes. Okay. Maria, 
Thank you. Maria Newberg, thank you for your question. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, who's you, next? Maria? Maria? Yeah? Yeah, okay, I can't, you know, I have glasses on. Well, you were you know, leaning like, forward, so I thought I know, but it. I still can't even I mean, see I can't that. see it. Okay. I've, I want to thank my sister for pointing out how dark my roots are. At what age, from Maria, yeah. at what age do you suggest removing the pacifier for toddlers? You know, I'm going to be super honest with you, and my sister, um, who is making fun of my roots via text message, can attest to this. Her daughter, my beautiful little niece, mm -hmm. was a pacifier junkie. I'm not sure if she still used the pacifier when she was in kindergarten. Oh, maybe. Maybe. She was a passy junkie. Mm -hmm. And when they become that attached mm -hmm. to it, mm -hmm. I want all of my parents to be really, really thoughtful. When taking it away. With taking it away. And I want you to err on the side. Uh, she did. She she did have it in kindergarten, sissy, or she yes, did not? She did. She, she did. did. Okay. She did. So, just like my sissy did, and she does not take advice from me because she's a boss babe, and she just runs her own show, but just like sissy did... You've got to be really, really gentle with your toddlers and the pacifier. An association occurs. The pacifier rotted her teeth out. Well, yeah, we'll touch on that. Um, the pacifier becomes a such a significant part of their sleep, their, sleep, their existence, who mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. um, if they're under the age of 24 months, the plan would be to what Zan wrote in the blog really talk it up prepare yes. them get in front of it start weeks in advance talking about um our friend is having a new baby mm -hmm. and we're going to donate it to them um i actually love when i have a couple clients who talked up dropping the pacifiers all of the pacifiers up the baby you have your child round up your toddler round up the pacifiers okay. put them in a basket mm -hmm. um and drop them off at the firehouse um, oh that's a cute idea yeah my brother-in-law was the chief of our local fire department we love all of our volunteers and paid firefighters um reach out to your local fire department and ask them and say look i got this crazy thing i gotta get rid of the mm -hmm. pacifier we're gonna make a big hoopla about it we're gonna come down there um i want to drop it off to you and our story is that we're giving them to you so that when you go out to families who are in need you're you then going to pacifier. you're going to give them a pacifier you're going to give them to a baby who needs it so then after you drop off your pacifiers the firefighter, the fire man or woman, woman. Yep. Mm -hmm. comes out, thanks the child so much. They get a hat, they get a sticker, the whole gamut. And then you get to tour the trucks, the girls, oh, the boys, really everybody idea. loves it. So there's all sorts of things that you can do, but you really want to prepare. You want to start at least three weeks out. You want to talk to them. Yes. It's time. We're moving on from this. You're a big girl. You're a big boy. We believe in you. We know you can do it. And there are babies that need your pacifier. They need your help. Well, she also, right, the reason that she's asking this is because she's having another baby. So oh. her burning question is, does she do it before or after the baby? <laughs> and I'm inclined to say before. Ah, me too. Always before. We it's have a big change yeah. having the baby come. Yeah, a big change. So we're going to have, as Jen can attest to, we are going to have all sorts of fun and exciting things that are going to start happening once the new baby arrives. Well, and I mean, the I pacifier is going to be the least of your worries. <laughs> this is true. The least. Yes. Okay. So, um, yes, I'm inclined to do it before, before. Yes. your toddler is under the age of 24 months old. Is. She'll be, he'll be 21 months by the time the new baby comes. Perfect. He's 18 months right now. Start three weeks out. Let's yeah. prepare. Come up with a plan. You could drop them off at a pond and float them. You could drop them off. Whatever you feel like they're going to associate exactly. to. Whatever they're, they like. Yes, if they, you're welcome, Maria. Yeah. Whatever they connect with. Yes. Okay? For those of you who are just joining us or tuning in on the replay, please go ahead and share this post. Please also go ahead and click, I think it's following. 
Yes, that you want to follow. Right. Us. So when we go live, mm -hmm. you get an alert, which um, is helpful. So please share this. Please go to our website, www.dreambabysleep.com backslash blog or just the website and click on the blog. Sign up for the blog. We've got really exciting things coming in the next month, mm -hmm. really. We've got exclusive blogs. We're not going to be posting the blogs as extensively on Facebook anymore. So we don't want to spam people, but just sign up for it so that way you get what you want. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We have another question. Uh, excellent. We're going to take we're going to take a couple more questions. Okay. So, so Courtney, my 2-year-old uses Courtney who? Oh, you want me to say it. Courtney Gallini? Oh, well, that was, yeah, okay. It's not gull, it's goal. Goal. I'm not sure. She'll call us and tell us. Okay, so her two-year-old uses the pacifier for sleep, and she mm -hmm. tries to get rid of it, but the problem is my five-month-old uses one, and the two-year-old just takes it right out of his mouth. Oh, I love that. What a little smart one. A smart, I'm going to take mine. Pants. I'll take his. Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. You're going to take this. I'll get mine. Mm -hmm. And you're not looking. So what does she do? Don't go to the bathroom and don't make yourself a cup of coffee. That's for sure as heck because that'll be game on. Okay, so what do you do? Mm -hmm. What you do is you talk to your toddler about the fact that we need the pacifiers for the babies. Babies. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. That's a baby yeah, and he's a big, big boy. You have to use your judgment with taking away the pacifier. Mm -hmm. um, like my sister pointed out, she had significant trouble with the pacifier and dental problems. Yes. Okay. Um, we have several clients who are dentists, mm -hmm. pediatricians alike. So talk to your pediatrician, talk to your dentist about it. And you do not want to have to have your toddler go under anesthesia. To have the effects of having dental surgery, yeah, no. which is what happened in our family, and it was really challenging, and it was a, it was a serious problem. Mm -hmm. So over the age of two, we need to work towards taking that away. At minimum, work towards restricting it. Okay, for for bedtime and nap time. Okay. Oh, hey Gina, thanks for tuning in. Um, okay, fantastic, you guys. We so appreciate it. We want to let you know that we're coming to a city near you. We need you to direct message us. Tell us what city you're in, what organization or company you belong to or work for so that we can bring our show on the road because we're coming on the road. We've been on the road and we're having a great time. We are. We're having a great time. It's fun. This is like being on a vacation. It is. Like a, Jen is on vacation right now because mm -hmm. she has three children under the age of four. Four and under. There you There's have it. a lot it. of them. There's more of them. You're outnumbered. Right? Outnumbered. So thank you so much. You guys, anybody who has another question, go ahead and comment. We work really hard to answer those questions um, after the Facebook feed ends. Hey, Catherine, thanks so much for tuning in. If you're just joining us, please go ahead and share the post. Please sign up for our blog at dreambabysleep.com. Please schedule a complimentary 15-minute sleep consultation. It's free. Who doesn't want something free? It's free. Okay, mm -hmm. so please do that. It's on our website, dreambabysleep.com. And stay tuned for really, really fun stuff. We're on Instagram and Snapchat. Instagram's down there looking right up at my chin. Your chin. Wow. I love that. So we're going to say goodbye, Facebook. Thank Bye. you so much. We really, Thank really you. appreciate you guys sharing us. Thank you.